Okay guys, today you find me in the mountains of Japan, north of Tokyo, about an hour or two north of Tokyo. This is a replica museum of historic events that happened 800 years ago with a family called the Tyrant family. They were a family of samurai and warriors and they were in numerous battles. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video and we are starting off inside uh, our Airbnb for the night. We got here yesterday, I was so tired for driving and stuff, I didn't want to vlog, but this is a very traditional home. Um, the old lady still lives here um, on the other side, she's about 80 years old, but I'll tell you a funny story about that soon. But this is where we slept last night, but Josh, you didn't hear because you had some headphones on, but there was some weird stuff going on here last night. What happened? Right. I had these on just so people know. He had no noise right cancelling. Yeah. Always noise cancelling. But what happened was it was super windy and like there was all these bangs coming. But even Dave, Dave, where's Dave? Dave even heard the same thing because he came in and said, Did you hear that noise last night? About five o'clock in the morning there was like a weird noise towards the kitchen. He went, eh, like that. <laughs> don't know what it was. And then half seven this morning someone came in, I don't know if it was the same old lady, yeah. but she came running through <laughs> the corridor, into the kitchen, and back out, and as she got to about that, she started choking, like coughing, and I could hear going all the way down the drive, like coughing, oh. and I was like, what the hell's going on? And to be honest, I didn't, I didn't even dare get out of the bed, because oh. I was thinking, like, some kind of Japanese spirit. What? Yeah, like, I was freaked out. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, was knocked cold. out. Don't forget how cold was it in here Actually, last night? To be fair, it was so cold I was trying to shut these doors to try to escape the cold from this room. Was your room cold? It's much colder than this. This actually feels warm. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, we no, had we the heater on. The heat. oh, we we okay. real we worked hard to use the heater yeah, this morning. I was morning. freezing when I woke up. I don't even have that in my room. <laughs> oh. so I was just hiding the blankets. Dave, <laughs> come here. Yo, Dave, what did you hear this morning? Oh, some. <clears throat> I took my headphones off editing. So this morning, I was, honestly, I was sitting there editing, I took my headphones off, and it was just like, like... <laughs> so I, like I told noise, you. I told I you. in the kitchen. Oh, so was like, it was the same time when you heard yeah. it then? Yeah, yeah so same thing. Went, Steve, because I thought you was waiting there, and there was oh, no. and it was like, yeah, like really creaking and horrible noise. <laughs> told you. Yeah. I mean, what was it? It was the, the, it was the woman, back, the like, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> crawling along the floor backwards. <laughs> so now the viewers have that. to see the grandma, but she's very sweet, so eventually we're going to have to meet her on this vlog, hopefully tonight. Yeah, yeah. but that's typical. She sweet crabby, little like, grandma yeah, turns into the demon. That is very true. <laughs> have you seen the film? Um, what's the film? I, I, the one I, in the elevator. I watched the devil one. What's that one? No, I think the film where the two... She's the devil. She's the that. devil. Do you remember that? Yeah, have you seen the other one where the two grandkids go and stay yeah, with grandma? Yeah, that's on Netflix. That was a good one. actually her grandma. Yeah. And yeah. she's like that. Running oh, don't, that. don't do Crazy, that. Don't, we've got to stay, we've got to stay another night here. Don't do that. No, this place reminds me of Demon Slayer. Yeah, it does it. a bit. Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. All the traditional housing. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, but by the way, look at, come look at this. How cool is that? Right. So apparently, she's from a long line of, a long bloodline of samurai. I should believe that the ladies who, the lady who houses is. Her husband has passed away and she uses this as an Airbnb for extra cash plus so there's people around as well. She does live on the premises and um, I think she's just lonely but the house has got a lot of amazing stuff and a lot of creepy stuff and you know, owls. But I mean, ch check out check out this mirror mural. Mermaids of some sort. Actually, not fairies. They're fairies. But it's a very, very traditional Japanese home. Very um, wealthy Japanese home actually. And there you've got the dining room, living room. You've got Steve there, in the kitchen. The only bad thing about it is the toilet. It's kind of a traditional toilet. So it's like a cesspit underneath. It's like a, um, what do you call them? What do you call them? Septic tanks underneath. So it's like a, just a hole and it smells. Oh, you see what I was trying to do? I was That's trying to all. slide the door. <laughs> but look at as we head out, you got my homie right here, a giant frog. Yeah. And what is these trees about? Yeah, I'm gonna get a fresh cold one. It's just a beautiful place, I want to say. Standard, you gotta have a cold Red Bull. Nice. Oh, oh, look at out here too. I didn't know this was there last night. This is my first time seeing this place during the day. 
Oh, it is nice, isn't it? It's beautiful here. Here's the front of the Airbnb. It's quite nice. Well, no. I need to sleep and I'm happy. Just look at this uh, RX7 FC and look at that. An R34 GTR just having a bit of a wash, you know. It's this is why I love Japan. So the thing is, is we're in this rural mountain village at the moment. And I'm not kidding you, I've already this morning in the space of 10 minutes seen an R34 GTR, two um, chasers, the Sora next to me there, the drift spec one. I've seen a garage with a couple of drift cars. It seems like we're in Drift County right now. I don't actually know what's going on today, but as we were uh, walking in there, I didn't film about 16 JDM cars been past Subarus and stuff. What, what day are we on today? What day is it? Steve, what day is it today? It's Saturday. Saturday, so do you reckon it's because it's Saturday all the JDM cars are out? Probably. Man, it makes me not want to go and explore. It makes me want to sit by the side of the road and watch yeah. them. <laughs> Right, we're going to do a little bit of spotting while we sit here and have our breakfast. Life in Japan, huh? They just drive JDM cars and ride around the mountains on the weekends. <laughs> Bro, this is why I'm moving here. Yeah. This is what this is. Sounds stereotypical, but it's true. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't have that in uh, the UK, right? We do, but normally it's plagued by idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't really have that in America either, so... Okay, so right now I've got the chicken, egg, vegetables, chili sauce. I've never tried this one, but it's uh, 26 grams of protein. Also a large Pocari sweat and a Red Bull, you already know. Okay, so we're about to start in a minute, but um, an S2000 pulled up next to us. And it's quite nice. It's, uh, it must have some springs on it and stuff, and it's got the BBS LM's uh, wheels on. It's actually the same colour blend that I had on my original R32 GTR. And I've got the same wheels now on my new GTR but they are the M1 grey and, and chrome dish LMs, but um, they're only 17. I'm looking to upgrade to 18s, to be honest, I don't know why. I just, I just like the rolling radius of 18s. Anyway, guys, we're heading to the, the abandoned now. This is probably one of the best abandoned places in Japan at the moment. Let's go check it out. A little, uh, little EK Civic over there on the trailer. Not a bad little spot. It's a nice little... Nice little Evo. Nice little Evo sat there. You know, only here in the mountains of Japan. Okay guys, we made it. So we had some difficulty, we were almost ran out of fuel, so we had to do a bit of a detour. But right now, we have arrived at the Samurai Museum. This is, I'll be dropping down the history, I'll be talking about it while we're inside here. But this is a mock-up replica of events that happened 800 years ago with some samurai clans um, and it's like scaled replica it's gonna be cool but right now we are in bird territory here in Japan oh, oh that's where I fell <laughs> that's where I fell I'm gonna try again oh, let's let Dan try suckers you ain't gonna do it bro Oh, what the heck? Cool. Yeah. All right. Hold on, hold on. My bag, my bag's a bit, That's bit weighty. Was. You might break this. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right, come on, Steve. Oh, there we go. All right. What up? I know. First time. First, First time. time. Okay. With my broken toe, by the way. Oh, back. Where's Dave? Broken toe, by the way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm sure it's like that wow, well, I will say, that's the map. It's a lot different than the pictures in the middle of the ground. Oh, right, we're at the map. Figure out where we are. Right, where are we? Let's take a look. All right, I think we're down there, in the bottom corner. So I might zigzag, do it all. What's that? What the fuck was that? 
That looked like security. That looked like security. Huh? Why is he playing out loud? I don't know. He's gone. He drove by. He's gone. He's just playing some loud music going down the mountain. I don't think it's music. It's like an announcement. Yes, yeah, an announcement. I don't know what that was. He's gone now, though. He didn't even stop or look here, though. Do you have a light on his car? No, but it looked like a car for some sort of service. Could have been a police or security, but I mean, it's gone now. Cool. Well, bears. It could. Yeah, it could. Your life. <laughs> Who knows oh, what he said? Ongoing. Please stay inside your home. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Comments below. What was that noise? What What were they saying? I want to know. Was that a security? Were they saying me? Let me know. Okay, guys. Today you find me in the mountains of Japan, north of Tokyo, about an hour or two north of Tokyo. This is a replica museum of historic events that happened 800 years ago with a family called the Tyrant family. Now, they were a family of samurai and warriors and they were in numerous battles which they kept on losing. Eventually, after losing so many battles, they went into hiding and became known as the refugees, the wanted. Um, obviously, we summarized back then, if you fled battle, uh, if you didn't kill yourself after you'd lost the battle, you were considered a coward, and you would normally be beheaded and your head buried separate from your body, which is a, a massive sign of disrespect. Normally, you would have to put your the hill on the ground and kneel onto your own blade killing yourself that was a samurai noble way of dying if not killed during battle but this place is amazing it has been um, replicated to a high spec we've even got thatched roofs uh, like the ones you guys see in the UK if you're from the UK if you're not don't even, do you have do you have thatched roofs in America no no like the straw roofs well you have uh, it's all been it's all been period built thatched roofs logs from the surrounding areas and it was built by the previous mayor and when they built it they thought this was going to bring in a lot of people which it didn't it opened in 1998 in the first couple couple of years it didn't do well at all um, and by may 2014 it eventually shut down as remained abandoned ever since and uh, yeah it's pretty much intact in there from samurai um, armors uh, I don't know if it's all replicas or if there's some uh, original antiques in there as well but there's only one way to find out we'll go and check it out and I'll drop some more history throughout the video Just left and drove away, but he's he was here a second ago. I seen him. Yeah, well, if he's here, he's left. Yeah, true, he might have left. Okay, no, you heard it here. Stay away from the front, boys. So one thing to think about is the doors are still open. It's really open. So whatever you did, you can't be that serious. Our doors are still open. Sorry, you could have been just... This is a lot of people. This is a lot of people. That's what I'm guessing. Because he would have shut the doors again. He left them open. The moment he was open. Wow, this place is unbelievable. Now, bear in mind, we gotta keep our voices down so we can hear our surroundings because the person stopped. First time I've seen this out here. This is, I've never seen this. It's crazy. crazy. The other thing is, it's like we've been doing 
uh, Hokkaido, like all abandoned spots. We've never seen this place even online. No, never once. So we thought we did everything. We thought we did. Guess we were wrong. This place came right out of nowhere. But the logs on this thing is like super sick. Told you his bear's around here. Killed. He just killed his bear, but he's not he's not looking where he's cutting. He's looking to something else. Oh. Oh. I nearly got you. Is he on the It's a bit graphic, huh? It's just a little bit. <laughs> Gives me hope that you can kill a bear with a spear though. <laughs> True. Oh, these, oh, he's looking at the other bears. Oh, so he was cutting up that bear, attacking him. So then look at this one. Damn. Imagine. Imagine, because we're scared of bears. Imagine this was like a real bear pretending to be a fake bear just to grab us. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. That's not good. His eyes look like he's moved down as well. Okay. Yeah, right. it's fake. Good. We're good. Glad you did that. So, like we said, this was a place that we didn't even know about before. Crazy. Uh, I do apologize about the uh, whispering, but it can't be helped. Gotta really watch out. Well, 800 years ago. It's like to be last years of the samurais or whatever. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was like I don't think it was like the last years of the samurai because the last years of the samurai came around about in the uh, industrial revolution, from what I believe. So during the industrial revolution, the Americans and the English weapons, mm -hmm. you know, machine guns and stuff like that. That's why I think because he's holding a gun right here. So this must be around the time when like you know they were introduced to these weapons. Yeah, well this was a flintlock gun, so. With this kind of gun, it's a one shot type gun, right? Mm -hmm. But the the British and the Americans okay. actually shot weapons. Mm -hmm. So they could line up on a battlefield, bam, 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 right. instead of just one shot, right. having to reload for two minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's kind of came around the end of the samurai era because the samurai could no longer defend against bullets. Mm. I see. But 800 years ago, it would have been in full swing. Mm. Samurais everywhere. I see. Yeah, you know, one thing I don't get is I thought this was to, I thought this was to depict um, a thing that happened eight hundred years ago because that gun's not eight hundred years old. Really? Well, two hundred years. I'm pretty sure the flintlock gun came about in the 17, in the 1700s. Mm, Holy shit! Look at that. It's a horse over there. He's like supporting all the hay falling out. This is really cool here. It's got really old barrels inside it. It's like it's in a washroom or wine room. What's he doing? Oh, he's making sandals. Making sandals in here. This is so cool. 
Oh, they once had power in here as well. Just to light it up. to the forest of it.
very well done in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, samurai sword. Oh, there's a samurai sword. Oh, there's a samurai dagger. It's not changed in 800 years. Like oh, yeah. They still keep the, the same traditions as like they did 800 years ago. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, because, dude, look at this place. It looks like our Airbnb. It does right now. This literally looks like our Airbnb. Oh. I mean, that's why they have the Tommy style rooms to rent out in some places. Just to kind of keep them going. Yeah. yeah. Keep the tradition going. That's good. I like that. Yeah, they like to keep their, like, culture still the same, no changes. And, bro, what is this? What do they call this? can't remember. But it's, it's like a demon to me. Yeah, it's supposed to be a demon's face or something. I forgot the name. Do you know the name, Steve? Guys, if you know the name, put it in the comments below, please. Yeah, in the comments below. What's the proper name for the demons? I can Google it, but I'd rather hear it from you guys. But look at it. It's amazing. Look at the Japanese eye. It's a curls dress in the back. It's so sick. Yeah, I think. I think these ones were worn maybe as a celebration. Really? Or to warn off the enemy. Yeah, this was Tanjiro's first master, I think, mm. that wore this mask. I can't I can't exactly say because I, I don't know. I don't wanna Yeah. It's not like I'm talking about. But oh, no wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, I did read I did read somewhere that do it wear the mask to help impregnate the wife. What? But I, I'm sure I heard that somewhere, yeah. Well, it might not be samurai, but I mean, the noses, you know, I'm just saying, like, those noses make me feel like it is. Yeah. Well, that's something I'm here brought up. It's not showing exactly the Quran. Tengu? Tengu mask. Tengu mask. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, Japanese. Tengu. Mask meaning. Here we go. Oh, it's to bring good luck. Good luck. So, Tengu are a type of mythical creature in Japanese folklore. And they are often associated with the mountains. Wearing a Tengu mask is said to bring good luck and protect the wearer from evil spirits. There are many types of Japanese masks like the Tengu. Yeah. Alright. Well, I suppose it could work if we're trying to get a baby for good luck as well. Yeah, true. And that's what it is. This one looks like it's completely fallen down. It's a shame, but obviously, sort of things like this only have a certain lifetime span. Oh, just a wood, wood chopper. Mm, maybe food and stuff, but flour, making flour and... I don't know, I'm just kind of guessing. This is definitely a carpenter's... Definitely a carpenter's uh, place. But I'm looking, there is a samurai hut that has four samurai armor, and that's what we're looking for. It looks like this would have had an animal in. I wonder what they had in. Maybe monkeys or something. It's like a petting zoo almost as well. I'm guessing this would have had monkeys or something in it.
and more, maybe chicken coops and stuff. Obviously, we'd, they would have need uh, they would have needed live animals for food in the village. He's just chilling out in there, pretty much the same as what we've always seen. The time is of the essence here, which is horrible. I truly wish I could spend more time here being slower looking at stuff, but time is of the essence. We do believe he's going to come back at some point, and um, I would be gutted if we didn't get to see it all. Um, you know, after I've, been, if I've done it all, I might walk back through it quite slow, but we'll see what happens. This one's locked. We'd like to see what was in this. It's really unusual. I'm going to head down to some of the front buildings now. Hopefully, that Samuel Armour is inside there. This one's falling down, so I've got to be really careful. Oh shit. Some animal. Oh, it's animal bones. It's, uh, looks like this is where they skin the animals and stuff. It's quite creepy. It's like a voodoo hut. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. I can match your teeth here. Yeah, it does, yeah. one that we were in in the beginning. There's the horse. Hmm. Not sure what that place is. Traditional stuff might even be authentic. Oh, probably not to be honest. 800 years old. These might have been old though. Certainly look at. There's like a lot of stuff's been taken out. Some of these are probably quite expensive bits. Find that samurai armor finally. Do you like this though? 
That's really nice. Oh, it looks like some of your skis getting in here. Uh, up this area, it does snow a lot. You found it yet? Steve? You found it yet? You found the army? Must have been removed. Yeah. You've been in these ones? Nope, I'm not going there yet. This one's really kind of cool, like just the front of it. I'm going to try that one. That's the last place it could be. Well, have you been in these? Oh, wow, look at all these. We'll take a look at these in a minute. Do you want to find the armor? Yeah. The armor. The armor hunt continues. This is it, guys. This is like our last building. I must have missed something. So far, I don't see any armor vibes yet in this front. Wait a minute. We're gonna watch out. Got the whole built. The whole thing's tilted. Yeah. Bro. Bro. I don't think they actually walk on this. What's, what's happened? Oh. Oh, I think the building sank and uh, the floor has been risen. Well, I'm looking in here. The only thing I really see is these dudes down here. It's all epic stuff. No samurais though. But no samurais. I'm gonna try opening up that back. Oh, that's the good look things there. What the dicks? Yeah, they're for they're, okay. They are for uh, pregnancy things to help get pregnant. I thought they were. I thought the samurai did that. They have these and they worship. They have a, a ceremony around them in hopes of having a boy. Really? Yeah. For more samurais? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because oh. let's be honest, all the samurai that's didn't a, want a girl. Yeah, well, that's a big deck for sure. All right. <laughs> that's just a bathroom. No, it's a bathroom. Oh, wow, the floor is crumbling. Wow, look at this carved eagle. Looks ferocious. This is just the kitchen. It's still pretty damn clean though. Look inside here. Oh, so cool. Look at that. Taxidermy eagle. Or oh, whatever it is. I think it's an eagle. Shit. The thing is always, the sad thing is, all this is real. These are not. Props, these are actual taxidermy. And you know me and animals, I prefer animals over humans. I actually, yeah, I, I think it sounds bad, but I would, I get more sad when an animal dies than a human dies. I don't know why, it's just maybe because I've grown up with animals and, you know, obviously, little girl fudge at home and Diglett and the rest of the gang. Got a few of them, but. Here you see a bunch of dicks, and um, there's a reason for these penises. And I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure it's what I was telling Dave earlier on. They would have a shrine of, of penises, um, big, small. We have all shapes and sizes. And um, what they would do is they would have a ceremony where they would, you know, dance around these, um, have sex, and um, and hope for a boy, so you know to to spread the the samurai way of life. And I think boys were more desirable back then. Um, you know, working and protecting all that kind of stuff. 
So, um, and I know obviously it's the same with England as well. It's like, like Henry VIII and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the, a lot of people who had girls actually killed the babies. And, you know, so glad I didn't grow up in that time. Damn. I mean, not that I get, get slaughtered, obviously, but it's the fact of baby slaughtering. I mean, who would have ever thought that was acceptable? How's that? What time is it? Oh, it's 5 pm. With 5 pm, it means that the alarm goes off, say work's well, finished. Yeah. Yeah, it's Sam gone. Samurais are right where that sword is. Right. Right on those boxes. What a shame. Yeah. Hang on. Maybe they're somewhere back here. No. Maybe they're over here. Part of me too? Nah. So here's what I'm almost thinking. Sounds crazy, but what if when the guy pulled up, when he shut the car door, he was actually coming in here to take those away. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know how true it is. I don't. I'm, we're just assu assuming. But he was in there for a little bit. We yeah, didn't hear true. anything. Then we heard a door close. Yeah, we did hear a loud slam. I mean, no one got that on video, right? The door closing no. or anything. No, I wasn't right. Recalling. I just have the picture of the car when we, we were waiting for the car to kind of leave. But the samurai stuff were right here. It makes sense. It kind of does, because Japanese don't, I mean, some of them do take, but it's so rare out of abandoned place. I mean, it looks like a place where you would put, it looks like a place where you put the samurai on the Yeah. Yeah. And remember, he slammed the door shut a few yeah. times, like he was grabbing things. Yeah. And now it's gone. Damn. He probably thought we were going to take it, so we removed them. Yeah. yeah I'll show you, Steve, was. look, just so you know. All right. So, this is the photo of reference we've been looking at. Yep. It's exact, this is, it's oh, the wow. same house. Yeah. Because of the Oni mass or whatever. Oops. Yeah. Oh man. Well, snooze you lose, boys. That's how. Hey, that's. Oh, fuck. It's just come out. That is all part of the game when doing you abandoned places, though. Just come out, but do it again. That's no, okay. That is. This is literally a part of the game. <sighs> we do abandoned place. We got to be here really quick, or else things wow. will go missing or gone. We missed out on a really cool photo and a really good sight, but we tried. Okay, so we've left. Uh, the samurai village, obviously, someone has stolen or taken to protect the samurai armors that we were looking for, but it's all good. It was still a fun explore, and uh, I'll probably add this with some vlog stuff. We had the vlog bits in the morning, and we'll probably go to the arcade and have some fun after this. So.